Hey, Bond family, what's up? It's your girl, and here live again to give you some tips and strategies in order to be able to grow your pawn operation and your business. Hope you guys are having an incredible week. Uh, I know my day was incredible. It's about uh, 2.50 here in San Diego, sunny day, did a bunch of work, had some client calls, some coaching calls, and uh, had an interesting call today and want to let you guys know kind of what happened and some of that I think is super important for the industry to take on and really important in your life as well. Right? So here we always talk about uh, not just business, but life. And if you join us, uh, do me a favor and hit share. Also, let me know if you're here and you can hear me. Um, I always like to test my, my microphone and my video camera, make sure that it's working well. So uh, first off, I hope you listened to yesterday's podcast with my friend John Lim. It's really funny because he was one of the first podcasts that I was ever on. He got he gave me a taste for podcasting. And uh, John Lim is one of the reasons why the podcast exists. So listen to the podcast. And he also created or he also started selling on, on Poshmark, which is an app that has like 4 million users and a sale a minute. And people open the app like one to two times a day. And uh, he's really growing his Poshmark presence. And he taught us about how to sell on Poshmark, how to throw Poshmark parties. And it could be just one more avenue for you to be able to sell your stuff, you to be able to sell the merchandise that's sitting there on the showcase and the showroom floor, and to be able to increase your inventory turns, which we all know is super important. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about a call I had yesterday and um, that I think is, again, really important in the pawn industry. My wife is text messaging me, so I'll go ahead and turn off that uh, <laughs> the, the text notifications. But so we talk about transparency, right? Uh, somebody called me and said, hey, what's the best way to, to pay my, my staff, my general managers? And I asked one question. I said, how transparent are you about what happens in your business? And the answer was, I'm not. They don't know what the palm balance is. They don't know how much money we're making. They don't know how much money we're spending. They don't know, they don't have any goals. They don't know where they're reaching out to. They don't know what they're supposed to do. And so my question, what my second question was, so how do you hold them accountable? And the answer was, I don't, I don't hold them accountable. So we got to talking about how important it is to hold your staff accountable, but more importantly, to hold you accountable, right? In the mastermind, we talk about leadership, marketing, and strategy, and what it takes to be a better leader, a better marketer, and a better strategist. And within the strategy category, we talk about how important it is to set goals and to know exactly what's happening in your operation so you can visualize if you're going up, if you're going down, and to be able to make changes on the fly. If you don't give your staff goals, if they don't know what's happening and you're not being transparent with them, they're going to get out of bed so unmotivated, so uninspired, and then you're going to expect them to do a great job when they come to work. You see, as humans, psychologically, we like hitting goals. We like having goals to attain. It's how champions win Olympic medals, right? They set goals. How fast am I going to swim today? How fast am I going to run the, a mile? How fast am I going to go down the ski slope? And they continuously practice at hitting that goal. They might not hit it every single day. They might not hit it every single month. But at some point, they're going to get so good at the task at hand that they're going to become champions. So you as a palm broker, you as a business owner, you as a manager, not giving your staff goals is essentially telling them that you don't care about your shop. It's essentially saying, I don't really care what happens. Just give me more money. Figure it out. I don't care how you do it. I'm not really going to help you, but just I want more money. And so it kind of tends to show that you're greedy as opposed to sitting with them and having what some people call OKRs, right? Objectives and key results. Some people use KPIs, key performance indicators. So you, some people do daily goals, weekly goals, and, and monthly goals. And 
strategic goals and all these types of goals. And sometimes you think to yourself, well, that's not how I've been running my pawn shop all these years. But the truth is that people today in 2019 really enjoy goals. And they want a leader who's going to keep them accountable. And if you have somebody in staff who's not like that, they don't belong on your team. They're a pawn pirate and you've got to get rid of them. But it starts with you. It starts with you leading the pack and, and, and leading the ship with your own goals and setting your own goals with your store and with your health and with your relationships. And this is exactly what we go over in the master class. We go over setting goals. You know, I send the master class. Everybody gets this download of the Pawn Planner. And the Pawn Planner helps you set your goals on a daily basis. It helps you set your to-dos. It helps you plan your morning and you plan your afternoon. It puts your daily metrics. And it's really important for you as a business owner and a leader to set your own goals and then set help set the goals of the company with your staff. I had a client who uh, had a chain of about six stores. And as I walked around to each store without him knowing, I would ask the management staff what their palm balance is. And they'd be like, I don't know, somewhere like in the hundred thousands. I'd ask, well, what's your pawn interest that comes in? I don't really know. What's your inventory turn? I don't really know. Now, a lot of people might be watching this and say, you go, well, I haven't been doing this this way. And that's not the way I was taught. Or if I teach my management staff, what if they go to my competition? See, that's the issue. If you led your staff, if you were an incredible leader, you wouldn't fear them leaving you to go to the competition. They would love working for you because you've created such an incredible culture. You've become a, a marketing master and you've strategized that where they can see themselves being with you for a very, very long time. See, staff gets scared when you don't know what you're doing, when you pretend what you're doing. And then gossip starts and people start being afraid. They come home to their wives, their spouses, their husbands, and they say, you know what? I don't know how long I'm going to last in this business because there isn't like a path. There isn't goals set. And so exactly what we talk about in the master class. I'm going to put this link for you guys in the comments so you can check it out. See, the master class is 30 days of you and me and a group of pawnbrokers hashing out your issues, talking about what's important, helping you plan, helping you lead, market, and strategize the way you should be in 2019. I get call after call of people saying, hey, God, I want to work with you. But I don't, I don't really want to change my ways. Ladies and gentlemen, pawn shops are closing every week and every month. And the excuse that they're giving is that, oh, it's just a different industry now. It's not the same as it used to be. Poppycock, right? <laughs> I never use that word. But it's a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of BS. We had a, a, a member who just basically said that they, ever since uh, jumping in to the courses, they raised $500,000 in their loan balance. Somebody else said that they've tripled their loan balance since doing the work. So you've got to do the work. If you don't do the work, you can't expect to just open the doors and money to flow in. If you don't become a better leader, you can't expect to get great staff members. And if you, don't take, if you don't make quick decisions and good decisions, how do you expect your customers to do the same? You have to lead. You have to show people how you want your store to be, how you want the energy to be, and how you want your business to be run. So many times you come into work day after day, hoping that more customers are going to walk in hoping that your staff is going to stop gossiping and hoping that your staff is going to get it together finally. And then you hope that by going to a conference here and there, you will have learned some magical tool to come back and to implement. See, habits take 28 days or more to make it part of you, and that's why the masterclass is 30 days. 
I know it because I was there. I owned my own shops for 16 years, led hundreds of staff members, millions in pawn balance with my brother. And what I'm teaching you is everything that I learned of what not to do and what to do. But you have to believe in yourself that you can get this done and do the work and make it happen. You have to go back home and look at your family and say, I want to become better for you so I can leave a legacy, not just more money. Somebody in the master class this month wrote me a message thanking me for the most energy that they've ever had. That they've been going to the gym every single day since they joined the master class. Now, it's not a requirement, but it's part of the video segment called the optimized palm leader. There's two types of pawn shops out there, ladies and gentlemen. Those who are learning and doing the work and becoming better, and those who are stagnant and dying. Because either you're moving forward or moving backwards. Either you're growing or either you're dying. And the master class is going to help you grow. And it's guaranteed if you don't like it for some odd reason, if you say this sucked, you give me a call, and I'll give you your money back. I don't care. I want to bring value. I want you to walk out of the masterclass and say, that was 10 times the value. But you've got to do the work, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to put in the work. You know, the first call on uh, May's masterclass, I'll never forget it. The, uh, somebody said they forgot to hang up when they were on the call. And they're like, man, this is a lot of work. It does, it does take a lot of work. And... I want courageous palm brokers in here. I want palm brokers who look around and say, I want to grow this operation. And it starts with transparency. How is your business right now? Are you happy with it? Is it growing? Do you look at your staff and say, this is, I have such an incredible team. I can leave on vacation for three weeks and I can be okay with it. Because if you don't have that staff, you have a job and not a business. And if you want to continue just having a job, go for it. But if you want to have a business, reach out to me. Let's talk. Let's chat. And this is coming from a palm broker to a palm broker. I've been in your shoes. But it starts with transparency, right? That's why I call this video the transparency theory. So many people are afraid of being transparent. So many people are afraid of sharing what's happening in their lives and in their business They'd rather just sit on the sidelines and scream at the players and say that this industry isn't doing well anymore. It's not the same. I want to get out. Those who have closed down their shops, those who say that this industry isn't the same, haven't put in the work, haven't done the leadership and the marketing and the strategy that they need to have because the people that we're dealing with, the pawn leaders, they're growing. By leaps and bounds. They're doing the work to grow that loan balance. A 42% increase by a one shop owner. 42% increase. What would that do to your bottom line? If you could increase your loan balance, 42%. Layaway balance is skyrocketing. And it's not just me, it's them. But they're learning and they're doing. They're learning the pawn leader system, which is leadership marketing, and strategy, and last but not least, how to optimize yourself as a person. I know you guys have family. Most of you have family. And you want the best for them. So you can either go to work stressed out. You can go to work upset. You can go to work pounding your your fist on the table saying, why aren't I growing? Or you can learn the foundation of growth. And that's the master class. You can learn what others are doing in the industry to be crushing it. And those of you joining me on this call, first of all, thank you for joining me. I, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you can, you know, you're at the shop or you're at home. But you watch because this hits a chord with you. How many more times are you going to sit at the sidelines? How many more times are you going to wish that you could do something about it? Or are you finally going to do something about it today? There's no more master class in July and August. 
June is the day for you. Stop thinking, I'll do it in the future. I had a client I spoke with a year ago. He said, yeah, I'll do it in the future. We spoke in 10% decrease in business, bottom line, because he waited. Because he wasn't sure. Because he wasn't, you know, can I get this done? I, I don't know. And so much wishy-washiness in the industry. So much lack of just determination saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And I'm going to get this done. I'm going to learn. I'm going to hold myself accountable. If you expect your staff to become better and grow, then you've got to do that as well. We didn't grow a multi-million dollar operation by sitting on our hands, opening the doors, and hoping that people want to walk in. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars myself on leadership coaches and marketing coaches and strategic coaches because I'm always learning, always evolving, because times are always changing. It doesn't matter what industry that you're in. The pawn business is being gobbled up by online space and the retail apocalypse and people getting loans from other places, but that doesn't have to be the case if you do it right. It doesn't have to be the case if you finally, excuse me, grow a pair and do something different. If you finally grow a pair and say, I'm gonna invest in myself to grow this business. And if your manager watching this video, you know, storming into your boss's office and saying, I want to grow as a pawnbroker. I want to be the best that's out there. Let's make this investment. I'm so sure about this. I wouldn't give a guarantee if I wasn't sure about it. I'm determined and passionate about transforming the pawn industry. See, my father, 58 years old, got Parkinson's and dementia because there was so much stress and they didn't sit and strategize. It was just opening the door and business coming in. Opening the door and business coming in. Partners fighting, employees gossiping. They could have had an empire, an empire, if they just would have been open to learning. If they would have put their ego aside and say, okay, I do know a lot, but there's some things I just don't know. And if I learn that, what if it increases my business by 5%? What would that do? What if it helped my team and it grew a better culture where I wasn't so stressed about losing staff and finding staff and the gossip and, the, and how these people aren't doing their job and they just don't know. They don't know because you don't know. And that's the truth. They're not going to work on themselves if you don't work on yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, pawn family. And I call you my family because I want the best for you guys. And those in my programs know that I say, you know, I care about you because I do, because I'm a pawnbroker. My brother's a pawnbroker. My uncle's a pawnbroker. My father's a pawnbroker. My grandfather was a pawnbroker. You've got to do something different. You've got to take the bull by the horns and invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, no one's going to invest in you. No one's going to want to help you grow your bottom line and your bank account just because you pay them a salary every two weeks. For growing a culture, an incredible culture, it's a different story. Being a masterful marketer and knowing what's working today, it's going to cause that. And strategizing and knowing your metrics and your numbers that's going to take you to a whole different level. Ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to seeing you in the masterclass. I look forward to helping you grow your palm business, helping you grow as a leader, as a marketer, and a strategist. And I look forward to helping you crush 2019 together. I'm here for you. Reach out to me. Um, have an incredible day and we'll talk soon. Watch out for tomorrow because I'll be on here talking about another strategy that will help you grow your business. Take care.